Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the REC Toy Cast brought to you by the REC Podcast. I am your host Roman Chavez and with me as always Eric Icarus. Eric. What's up? It's been a while. It's been a minute. It's been a minute since we've done a toy cast and yeah. kids we are sorry. Yes. Um, we're in something of a flux right now. Uh -huh. uh, Mom and dad have been fighting so we couldn't see <laughs> eye to eye on these figures okay. Uh, no we just uh it, they're gonna be sporadic but for the moment yeah I'm, I'm in the process of a move it's probably not gonna be settled until end of March early April but we wanted to throw a couple toy casts at you so we are going to spoil you a little bit yes but we got to start off with this beautiful Marvel Legends 80 year anniversary two pack of arguably two yeah. of the best X-Men characters of all time, time. like oh, yeah. it would be hard to not Put these guys in the top 15, top 20, and that's just because there's so many cool X-Men. Right. But these it's, ones hold, hold a special place. What about you? Oh, me too. For sure. I mean, as far as the heavy hitters go or the X-Universe, X uh -huh. I mean, these are the two I think of, and I, I, I've i always been infatuated with just Colossus' look. Oh, yeah. I, I just think he's just so cool, and same with Juggernaut. It's insane. It's so bizarre. It's so bizarre, but it works. Yes. It works. We got this beautiful packaging here, and this one, guys, I feel like this one's been difficult to find. Yes. And and, yes. I, and I do want to talk about that. You know, you know, we are uh, collectors, and we we love this stuff. Oh, check out that side I box know. art. Oh my god, that's very cool. classic. You know, some some very classic art there. This one looks a lot like from Pride of the X Men. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got Juggernaut on the side. We've got Colossus on the other side. Oh, some beautiful Dave Cockrum and maybe even some Gil Kane here as well. Nice. Um, and then I love, I mean, look at this. There we go. Look at this classic cover. Um, who shall stop the juggernaut? You know what, guys? Let's be real. Colossus is in the, you know, he can't even hold Juggies. No, he's not jock strap, okay? <laughs> but it's always fun when we see them going. Uh, we're going to take this out off camera because, you know, we it's, know you guys are here for Eric's hands. So that's going to, we're going to get those hands in here in a second, okay? All right, guys. We've got our pre-cut box here, so mm -hmm. that uh, a little icky poo can uh, can do what he has to do here. Um, already, I love the background. Yeah. That kind of like blast effect. Yeah. You know, it really does sell. It cl goes with the with the different reds very nicely. For sure. Um, so I, you know, we definitely want to get uh, these guys loose. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Pull out all these pieces. Video the little small pieces first. Yeah. And then we're gonna go for the for the dudes. <laughs> For the gusto. For the gusto. For the kids, you know? <laughs> yeah, look at that. I do like how how Marvel has been putting in the extra hands and heads. Yeah. Switch it up a little bit, you know? Giving us way more bang for our buck. Yeah, definitely. I'm going to come back yeah, to that. Come back to that. And we can even do that off screen. Yep. But let me get these guys out. Here, why don't you that, show these off real yeah. quick? All right, guys. You'll, you'll see the hands here in a second. Okay. So, first off, like I was saying, I love the accessories. I love the accessories that they're doing. So we just have two different um, hands here for Colossus. And I love the detail on them. We've got these are closed fists to the right and the left. Um, I love that we can see all of the, that line work and all of that stuff to go with P Piotr Nikolavich <laughs> Rasputin. Here we go, right here. Oh man, look at this guy. Look at this guy. He, this is very, I, I love the kind of triangle shoulder tops here. Um, very much in the Dave Cockrum, uh, John Byrne era of of the character. Oh, and it's been a while, kids. We got those Russian buns. Look at the detail on those buns. This thing is heavy. I love it. I love the oh, the face sculpt on this is just too good. It is just too good. It's got you know very strong uh, hair. I almost wish it was blue, Eric. You remember the. Uh, the kind of blue hair that he had on the uh, original X-Men yep. 90s action figures. Oh, from the Toy Biz? From the Toy Biz, oh, yeah. yeah. But yeah, the paint job Those on this is great. Buns. Yeah, yeah. He's, I mean, he, he's got it. Those are some Russian rolls right there, all right? This guy, if they're making them all like this in, in Russia, we're in, we are in some, some trouble, okay? Um, ooh, the belt moves. Hey. The belt is independent from the waist. Nice. Has the very cool X on there. I love um, it. Shimmers. It does. Yeah, it's. It, I like that it's metallic. Yeah. And, you know, we'll probably get the, the fists in here here in a second. But, Eric, I think we both agree that... This is the... the Juggernaut. Well, this is what we came to see, folks. Yeah, this, this... I mean, anytime you use that much plastic to make a... Yeah. To make this detailed of a figure... I mean, come on. I mean... 
Doesn't look like the head's gonna come off. Yeah, easy. I don't think the helmet. Nope. So the head comes off because it can be replaced. Yep. So that's but, good. But it's it's a, it's it's a little uh, stiff for me. But I mean, I guess he's a big character, so it makes sense. Yeah, you got to work those joints. You yeah. Gotta work those joints. You don't want to lose oh, coming out. Oh man. Because you're only gonna get to pose this guy so many you're times. Very true. Um, boots are killer. Dude, look at the detail on those boots. I love that. That that kind of uh, uh, pirate boot yep. look that was yep. so popular for so long in comics. Wow, this yeah. thing is massive. You know, I do have in the archives an opened toy biz juggernaut really we'll have to stack them we're up gonna have to do it man late, on a later episode for sure dude and there was a colossus in that wave too that is different oh. that will have and, and definitely not shiny silver oh that's yeah. right so, i love the grin i do too but if i zoom in on the face there a bit let me see if i can get a, a beautiful shot of that um there we go. Yeah, man. I mean, it's weird though to have those like crazy wide eyes, but I like the teeth. Yeah, the and teeth. I like how they're jagged. Yep. Like, like almost like he's gritting down. And it's like bending his teeth too. Yeah. You know, Juggernaut was one of the f one of the first X Men uh, uh, villains. Yeah. Um, and has a great past because you know he's from 1965. He's from X Men number 12. And actually, Juggernaut is is Professor Xavier's uh, stepbrother. That's right. Um, his father married his mom after Xavier's dad passed away. Right. And sh so she's rich. Oh, okay. <laughs> the K Marco, who is who is a uh, Juggernaut, his father was a colleague of Charles's father. They were doctors, and he was just trying to marry him to get that money. Oh! And Kane's father treated him like crap. Ch 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 treated Kane like crap. Ch treated Kane like crap, and then was really, really good to uh, Charles because he was trying to get that money. Sure. So, he's, play he's playing it smart, baby. So Kane really took offense uh, took offense to that sure. and blamed Charles, bullied him, this and that. And then when he became a mutant, it's like, oh, you're a mutie, but... I don't have anything special about me. Right. Kane's an adventurer. He was That's ex right. ex military and he gets his power. He's not a mutant at all. He actually gets his power from this demon known as Sidorak. That's right. And uh, Sidorak has this jewel, and if you have this jewel and this tablet, you can see uh, if you ch say the say what's on the tablet and then talk about and then have the jewel, um, you get the power to be a one-man juggernaut. That's right. And you're basically Sidorak's avatar on this plane. Right. Check out the traps on this guy, man. Know, right. Yeah, juggernaut hits the gym. Um, I like his glutes aren't really working for me. Ah, uh, no, I like them. I like them. They're 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 real. They look real meaty to me, you know. And I and I can appreciate that. I can appreciate that. I can too. What I don't like is. Yes. I don't like how there's no texture yep. here. I was just it's yep. just painted yep. on. Let's get ready to um, I, I wish that it, that it had more texture to it. You know, the abs look good. There's even a belly button yeah. there for some uh -huh. reason. Um, I but, do want to ask you one quick question. Yes. What are these things? You know, they're just like leather knuckles. straps. Yeah. They're metal. They're metal. They, they are metal. Yeah. Okay. There's, they are. They are some type of mystic yeah, some metal. Brown metal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The color scheme. It does work, but he does look like he's the avatar of poop. You know. <laughs> <laughs> less less Sidorak, more Golgothan demon from. Uh, dogma. Yeah. Um, but I always liked his name, man. Juggernaut. Juggernaut, man. Have you ever eaten that Juggernaut? <laughs> what is that? It's like Hooters. Oh, yeah. No, I have not. I have not. Um, but we've got some different headpieces to Kane. Yes. Oh, yeah. And, um, and what's cool about this is that this is actually... So we have kind of like a blown off like, like helmet piece. And then the face you mm -hmm. can see here is like... Uh, let me zoom in on this bad boy. Looks like he got roughed up. Yeah, it looks it looks like he's he's had better days. Yeah, it's kind of uh, bruised up. There's no way Pete did that to him. No, Pete didn't do it to him. Uh, but oh, wow, the head looks good. The 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 bruised up eye. Oh yeah. And then the idea was that this just kind of would would go in yep. here. Yep. Oh man, I gotta focus that better. There we go. We we'll just go in here and we'll set this up for you guys because he also has some hand yep. uh, variations that that we'll do. Where his kind of standard was the was the. Uh, Closed, closed hands, closed fists. We've got kind of an open hand, uh, gropey hands, gropey hand situation here. So, we'll, oops, we'll get this guy all posed up for you so you can see what the other pieces look like. All right, so here's the alternate head put on the body. It looks great. We put an alternate left hand on. We left the fist in the right because it looks like he's going to grab Colossus behind his head, do some dirty boxing, and just really. Really give it to him with that with that uppercut from the right. I see it coming. Um, something that when, when me and Eric were opening this, Eric was saying how, how much he liked the 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 variant head here. Yes. Um, as you can see, it's just kind of like 
blown out here right. you know something happened and i was like yeah it's a cover from spider-man you know guys all of my comics are yeah. packed up right now but i, I don't I, know how you knew the, the issue he i knew the issue right and he pulled it up i just pulled it up for eric and i'm just going to show you on the phone but as you can see there's juggernaut with it kind of with his helmet just kind of blown off i know this is a janky way to show you but i want you guys to understand and appreciate you know what these guys yeah. what these uh sculptors did i mean this it is a very is. cool thing and not something that happens a lot with marvel figures dc does it all the time really and if you guys want to see dc figures let us know yeah, below let us know. um but yeah dc does it all the time and where they'll do you know artist rendering action figures uh famous poses famous things right they do that far more than marvel which does. i feel like when i think of those kind of things i think marvel yeah more than i do dc yeah which I think Marvel's missing out on something. Here. Yeah, Hasbro's not. Uh, well, this is a step in the right direction. Yeah, big time. But I love this. It's, a, I it's a cool little detail that that fans like you know. Mm -hmm. And then now you're telling myself and the audience this stuff, and it makes it a little more cool for them. Like, oh wow, this is from this. I, I appreciate the effort. So if any yeah. of the sculptors from Hasbro see this, uh, I salute you, sir, ma'am. Um, Let's get, what do you want to do? You want to do Colossus posed up next to him? Let's get some stature here. Sure. All right, let's see what we got. All right, Eric has done it again in this very fun pose. Um, we've got some some meat swinging here, you know? <laughs> like these, these are the beefcakes, kids. There you go. You know, I, I love it. I think, I do think the Juggernaut should be a little bit bigger. Yes. But I do like that he is at least bigger. Bigger than Colossus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Comparatively, he looks great. I, I thought he'd be as big as like Wendigo. Mm -hmm. The when you go to mm -hmm. or Hulk, maybe. we're gonna have to put the Wendigos, the Hulk, like the big guys yeah, together at some right. point and show Definitely. some stature. I, I show like some that. stature. That's a good idea, dude. Um, so which one do you like the best? Sugar, <laughs> Juggernaut. Okay, okay. yeah. But not, not to take away anything from Colossus, I think he looks great, painted well. Yes. Love the costume. I think I think that Colossus is painted better, but Juggernaut's you know the veins on his arms, oh, just the boots, the like detail. the detail on that is is so it nice is too. It's so nice too. I, I, I like to see some of these guys online. Like I would see somebody customizing this a little bit more. You know, adding some like maybe some black lines to the sure. pecs to oh, really make them pop. Yeah, yeah. Um, you brought up off camera why we haven't seen a Colossus. Acolyte. Yeah, like uh, variant. Yes, or something. variant. Or, yeah, in his Acolyte costume. Yeah, where it's the purple yes. and the... I can't remember what the other color like a, scheme is. Uh, is red? It might be I red and green. It might be red. Purple, yeah. red, and green or something like that. Yeah. From when Colossus was working with Magneto. Spoilers, kids. Yes. Yeah, it broke our hearts. It broke yes, our it hearts. did. Um, what are you rating this one, homie? Oh, this is... This is a nine. I'm this is a nine, 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 five. It's not perfect. It's, it's not a perfect. But this is close. It's a, it's as close to a perfect uh, uh, pair set that we're gonna get a two pack. We're gonna get. If this was Phoenix and Gladiator, it would be a ten for me. <laughs> it would be a ten for me. Woo. Um, yeah, well, kids, yeah. that's our toy cast for yeah, today. Yeah. Uh -huh. Thank you so Good much one. for joining us. If you like what we're doing, please hit the subscribe button below. Uh, leave us a comment. Give us a like. Tell your friends about the show. Check us out on the REC podcast where we discuss pop culture mm -hmm. and you know movies, comics, TV shows. Uh, we have an Oscar show out right now. Yeah, it's for doing the, really well. It's for doing reason. well for us. Um, so uh, we yeah, just tell, let us know in the comments. Stop coming up to me yeah. and telling me you want more toy cast. You've got to go in the comments and do it, please. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Um, and if there's a toy that you would like us to review or something you'd like us to check yes. out, leave it below as well. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, like I said, we're going to be sporadic for the next few months, but we're going to keep trying to bring you guys some toy cast, and we will even we out. And we've got lots of stuff coming for you. So for the toy. Cast. I have been your host, Roman Chavez. I'm still Eric Icarus. And we will catch you next time.